Am I live? Am I a live? That's the question. <laughs> oh me! After the past uh, week, I don't feel very alive. But anyway, uh, life must continue as long as I'm alive. So I got to do some work here. I uh, designed this two-story garage. Uh, for this owner and we've got it framed up and one thing I forgot to do originally is put an entry uh, a, a a cover over this a little roof let's call it a little roof over this door so I'm going to show it now and I'm going to show then I'll show it to the owner I'm going to build it now in the SketchUp and then I'm going to show it to the owner and if he locks it we'll go ahead and build it. So I have this extension uh, called Medik Trust that also has rafters and so I thought what I would do just for the fun of it is just to see how it worked uh, just to show the owner but I'm going to end up drawing it um, individual, you know, like the rafters individually in, in the whole structural system eventually because I don't want to, um, I, want, I want to show it the way it's actually going to look. So, but I do like this little extension. If I go to Medik um, Truss, he has roof rafters here. And this is good, like I say, just for showing people what things will look like. Okay. I'm not sure what my wife is doing out there. She's making noise. So then we've got a uh, roof pitch, which will be 10, 12. Just like the main roof. Overhang 12. That might be a bit much, but for this little thing, but we'll leave it at 12 for now to see how it looks. Rafters will be just two by sixes. Ridge board will just be a two by eight. Ridge board, okay. Bird's mouth. Cut. It would be 3.5 ceiling joist yes I think on this it'll, it would look better to have a little flat ceiling and then we can put a light fixture in it okay Five. okay Building length, rafter spacing, 16 inches. Okay, gable okay, well rafter. Oh, glasses are all, these glasses, I'll tell you what, I've had them for several years and they're all beat up. I've got this side wired up, taped up across the top. As soon as the pandemic's over, I'm gonna go get new glasses, but I can just barely see how these things are. Advanced roof options, yes. And I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to leave this as it is for now. Okay, so there, that tells me right away that 12 inches is too much. And see, this is, what, what the main thing I was trying to do was first see where my height was going to end up, and that's going to be fine except my flashing and all that the roofing will probably end up eating into it but also this with this overhang i probably could have just measured that let's go to a and in real life we'll probably frame this so that the fascia board comes right to the edge and lines up with the corner board so that would be 11 and 9 sixteenths so let's make it 10 inches for now 
So what I can do is go back and edit this. And this is one of the nice things about this Medique roof extension is that you can update. And see that got me back, but it didn't get me far enough for my fascia. So what I'm going to do is make it for now. I'm just going to make it nine just to get it out of the way. Now. Where's my gable? That's my left and right. Where is my gable overhang? We're going to leave the front at 12. The back. Which is the back? Let's say 12. 12. We don't actually want an overhang in the back. Let's take off one of these and see which one is which. I guessed right. Okay. So that would be that. And what I may do just to save some time, I think what I'm going to do is let me get rid of my little. my little roof, my little platform that I was building off of. There's a line over here, you know, I want to get rid of. Ah, gotta be careful with that eraser. Erase the whole house. Let me go see if there's any comments. No comments, what? So, um, that let me close this so what I think I'm gonna do let me edit this and I'm just gonna do the advanced roof options right quick we'll say yes to OSB fascia yes fascia with five board structural outlook don't have to worry about that we're going to put looks like he's added some materials to our options here age uh, we'll just do the old boring uh, weather, weather let's see what cedar shingles look like let's update that Hmm. Uh, turn on roof cladding, yes. And roof sheeting, yes. Date, what happened to my, there we go. Fascia. Turn on our fascia, yes. Mm, what if I can get by with a... Let's just see what it looks like. So that's enough for now. That will get us past the concept of having it. It's kind of heavy looking, isn't it? But what I would do for a beam, and this is really why I'm doing this, um, is I would have a, like a four by eight, which would be 7.25 by three and a half. That looks a little bit small. Let me make this two more inches. So we'd be, we'd do a four by 10, which would be nine and a quarter. And then let me make a group out of that.
and we'll just bring this out to three feet. And, and this is going to be exposed, exposed. So <clears throat> what we would do is we would come down and put a little camphor on it somewhere. Let's say, let's say we left in six inches here. So that would be, what's that, two and three quarters left over. Oh wait, what am I saying? Three and a quarter. So then we'd come back here, three and a quarter. And we'd have a 45, a chamfer, a camphor, depending on whether you're a Yankee or a Southerner, a chamfer or a camphor. And then, um, let's just try to find a material just to apply to this that uh, makes it look more like a wood, a wood beam. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anything that looks decent. Mm -hmm. Wood veneer, that's not bad. It's a little bit dark. A little bit too red looking. Yeah, that's good. That's good enough for now. And then we would have a down piece, a piece that comes down. Let's see if I have any comments. No comments. piece that comes down would be let's see if we went back three more inches and then we went down 45 degrees That would put us to there. Am I editing this? Yep. So then we want this to come down another three inches. And that would be a four by, that would be 3.5. Hmm. Two. Yeah, I think we'd have to go ahead and make it a four by, a four by six. And then this would come up. I think what happens is this would come down to here like that we'd have a and this would be a this to call this would be a probably I'm not sure if a, a four by six would probably look better. That's what that is. Like that. Get rid of my construction lines.
So I'm gonna make a component out of this. Big wood bracket. That way if I do change it, both of them will change. And then this would go, let's see if I can get in here and figure this, get where I can see this. This point would go right there and then it would go back against the house. Looks like that uh, batten would be in the way. But who knows where battens would be at this point. So I'm not going to fool with the batten. The point of this is to get these brackets in here and then show the owner. that so you have those two I think maybe the overhang all this would be lighter weight and this is why I'm thinking about I would draw this by hand because what I would do is I would make the um, fascia board uh, one by six, which means in this program, the rafters would have to be two by fours to make them smaller. And the face it. Face it would go down to five point five. See that would look better. Lighter lighter weight roof. And then I would have to go in here and put um soffit. Where's my soffit? Let me move this up. Here. Soffit, yes. Box. Update. There we go. That gets me my soffit. And not sure why. Uh, soffit thickness box. Uh, facial depth 5.5 facial depth. Uh, anyway, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, on this, but this soffit would be, I'm not sure why the soffit is down like that. It's not acting like it's on, it's not up against the rafters, up against the blocking. It's hanging down for some reason. I'd have to investigate that. But the general idea is to have an entry, but you'd have, I'm not sure why they don't have the gable framing on here, but you'd have framing all the way out to the end of the beam and you'd have a ceiling material on there.
But I'm not sure if he's going to like that or not. It's kind of stuck on looking. It seems kind of big. I don't know if you go back to a six inch six and then six yeah maybe we do that maybe we go to a six inch overhang And that's why I do these things like this. That's why I use this, you know, some extensions to get it close. And then if they want to go ahead with it, then I would draw it in the individual pieces. What is the purpose of the chamfer? The purpose of the chamfer on the on the the bracket is just to give it a, a, um, a decorative. A, it's it's rustic, but decorative. You know, it's just traditionally we've always put some kind of camphor, and it's uh, spelled with an F, chamfer, like that. But it's always just been traditionally, you'll see when you see these kind of rustic brackets, uh, you typically say, because it looks better than this just being squared off. Now, probably what I would do is put a smaller one on this. I'm not sure about this one. It depends on how we do the overhang. It might be that in this case, a lot of times you'll, you will you don't see this style of soffit mixed with these brackets. Uh, again, this is an extension I'm using. And when, I, if, when I draw this for real, uh, I'll actually draw it the way we're gonna build it. Uh, this is just to give the owner an idea of what it might look like. But if I was truly gonna build it this way with this kind of soffit, I might just let this beam uh, come on, um, which I could fix just by taking that point and moving it back out. I thought I locked my axis to there and then deleting. And both of those should have been fixed since I made that a component. Yeah, see that's why I make it a component. It fixes both of them. So it may be that, you know, we just make that one squared off, but leave this camp from this one down here. And then this would be where I run my lag bolt in right there in the center of that little rectangle. I run a lag bolt here and then one up here somewhere where it's easy to get to. And we'd probably have some brackets bracketing this thing where it was hidden, like up here behind the soffit, there would be a bracket also holding this. Uh, some of those, those would never move. But this would be, this gable end would be closed in. I'm not sure why. Let me just take one second to look and see if I can, this is the problem. A little bit of a problem when using a, an extension if it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do. <laughs> Let's see. Camel rafters, reframing, yes. Edgeboard, advanced, sheeting. Right board width. See if we make that six, if that'll. Aha, uh -huh. I just figured out something. 
they're calling a rake board, which is an in inappropriate name. This would be 3.5. That's why my soffit's hanging down. Yeah, I just figured that one out. That's cool. The rake board would be a board on the outside of the fascia board on the gable end. This is your rake right here. And uh, anyway, I'm glad I figured that out because that pushed my soffit back up where it's supposed to be. But what I'm looking for is why there's no gable end. Why there's no gable end framing. Is it too small of a roof? Because they're supposed to be cladding and you're supposed to have like uh, siding options on this thing. Roof, roof cladding, soffit cut, heel, outlookers, outlookers, rake board, gable overhead. Breaking. What happened to the, um, what happened? Let's see if I draw a bigger roof, if it'll give it to me. There should be, there should be a uh, gable framing and uh, OSB and siding and everything on the end of this gable because I've used this extension before and there's a no somewhere. Let me look at all my no's. Structural. Roof peak, heel blocking, horizontal, soffit cut, roof cladding, yes, roof cladding, gutters, fascias, hmm, hmm, have to call Madik about that because I've used this extension before, I've even picked the siding that goes on the end. So, we go to my, let's see, gable setting, global settings, under roof, truss. Wall seating, oh look, yes, wall cladding, yes, okay. For some reason it was turned off. He did a he did an update recently and floor seating and cladding. Is this under, okay, roof seating, yes, roof cladding, yes. Now I should be able to regenerate or edit it. Hmm. That mean that means I would have to um I didn't really want to spend a lot of time on this, but I do need to see if that means I'm going to have to regenerate a new roof.
Okay, well, that's odd. I'll have to, maybe what I'm gonna do is delete these two. Let me try one quick thing here, but what I'm gonna do is send this to the owner and tell him I'll, what I'll do is I'll draw in some, well, what I might do is just quickly put this in a, a, a layer that I know is off and um, it'll disappear for a second. Well, let's see. Let's just, let's just draw us a line. I don't know if I can get in there. You know, I kind of be able to draw. a little reference line there for a second. I'm just going to draw myself a triangle that I can apply I can group and I can turn Because what I'm trying to do here is just create a volume. What I should have done was included a, let's turn this layer off right quick. And then we will make ourselves a rectangle that I can apply a ceiling material to. Like that. That will have just a thickness of three quarters. Oops. And this will have a thickness of like a half inch, like that. Let's see, that'll give us a just a volume to cover up our framing and, and to give a, tr a better idea of what it would look like. No more questions. So I think what I'm going to do, but in here, see, you could, this would give you a place to hang a light fixture. And this would be like tongue and groove. And then we'd put the uh, battens on here, but I really don't want to get into a lot of detail until I get this approved by the owner. So I'm going to send this out. And I think if you keep it small and decorative, it doesn't become some huge thing and then I'm going to add some little roofs over the garage doors and those would definitely be drawn I think what I'm going to do there is just draw a quick come up six is that right 
yeah. Then the fascia would be 5.5. This will come out six. Let's see, would it? There's not enough room to come over six inches on each of them. Then we just come over four inches. Doesn't leave much room. Leave six inches between them. Well, just go back to so then I would have a let's just draw ourselves to the endpoints. I'll make myself a group. work with can't grab it And they would come out let's say at least 16 inches and then these would be little hips I think so what you do is go back and come over 12 and come up 10 Would that look good? Let's come back to well. That's what I was afraid of. Turn that off for a second. Ten. Oh. Make sure I'm editing. And then they would have that same, <coughs> excuse me. We really have, uh, what we really have are tiles. These uh, rather expensive. European style roof tiles. They're not, they're not I guess, I guess they are still clay, but I'm sure they have additives in them. Yep, that's running the wrong way. That's weird. Hmm. Well, how'd that happen? Dang it. Something always gotta be messing with me. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I reverse the face just for the fun of it right quick. No, that doesn't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to this one. I don't like doing this because I run the risk of
it, it, the scale of it screwed up. So obviously, too, these would be a little more complicated looking than this. Um, Oh, there it is. In other words, these these edges would hang over more. And uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm going to make a component out of this because. This is garage roof uh, because I'm going to have to make two of them if he likes them. And I started to do one all the way across, but I think he's going to want two individual roofs I think this should be darker darker looking Okay, any questions or comments? No, y'all are just too easy. Well, I thought I would just go live while I was working, and so I'm through with this little task. This is, this is a service I provide at atdrafting.com, and if you need something like this done, uh, again, what would happen is from this point, as if he says, yeah, I like the concept, then I would actually redraw these things uh, as we would actually build them. And I mean like rafter by rafter, piece by piece. You know, you wouldn't have this little funky situation here. It would just look more, it would look more real. <coughs> you see these corners up here, how they're nice and clean. Uh, that's how we build things. We don't build them with these weird edges showing like that. And, you don't see these lines and that kind of stuff. So um, I would go back and clean it up and then for final approval. But this is just a quick, dirty, do you want these things or not on your house, your garage, your fancy garage? The nice thing about these things is that you can put like can lights under here and that light is pointing down when you drive up instead of in your face. So I think they may need to come out I think they may need to be a little bit deeper. But I'm going to go from here. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching. And if you need any of this kind of help yourself, help yourself. <laughs> Don't help yourself. Let me help you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys.